Hi, Marissa. Hi. I'm glad to see you again. So Dr. Phil asked me to come and have a little chat with you about how things were going. Can you tell me what's been going on? It seems like life hasn't been so good these days in your home. It seems like it has been increasing, and that's the reason you showed up? Yes. So what do you think is causing the increase? Probably my mom's health. OK, what's, what are you worried about in terms of your mom's health? Dying. Dying. That's a big fear. Does it haunt you a lot, sweetie? Mm -hmm. And what happens in the home? How is that different in your house? She doesn't do like motherly duties, like, like what a mom would do. Like I have to wake her up for school to take me to school and stuff mm -hmm. like that. What I had heard was that there was a lot of conflict going on between the two of you. Um, sometimes we'll just argue over the smallest things and get verbally abusive with each other. What's the worst thing that happens? Probably when she like threatens to like hit me. Does that happen often? Mm, yes. I do not threaten to hit you. I did it I, one time. That's what I said in the interview that she did. That's it one not time. what you just said on the tape. You said when she threatens to hit me. Well, that's not a good thing to happen. We don't want no, that to No, it's happen. not. And I literally went like this, mm. and I walked out of the room and called some, called her youth pastor's wife to come and pick her up. I because I don't want to be that person. Because, pardon me? Because I asked her to call her. Well, here's what Marissa wrote uh, on her agreement. You guys wrote this out yesterday, right, Dr. Yes, Barbara? I asked her, so let's figure out if you want to take take ownership, then what are a couple of things that you are really craving that you need? And she said that the number one thing that I keep seeing over and over again, and this is not, this is every kid. They want to feel safe, accepted, and belong. She wants to be with her friends. Okay, then what will she do in order to be with her friends? She said, I'd be home at 10 o'clock. And if she doesn't, then what will happen? Then my mom will take my phone away. Second one was no more alcohol. But I said, if you're with your friend, then what kind of activities are going to do? There's going to be no alcohol or vaping. And that was the other thing. So I think what it, we need to do is go back one step and start helping her figure out. So if she wants to be in control, what are little bits at a time? What are some little bits at a time and some little steps she can do? And maybe we flip it slowly along the way, mom, until she can take some ownership. Can I just say, I have tried flipping that this whole time. I've given her those freedoms. I've done exactly that. I understand that sh she is an amazing young lady, but right now, she has lied to you. That's not, this is exactly what I've tried doing. I've done this since February, I swear, I promise. Mm -hmm. Marissa, is that true? She has let me gone out. It would only be for what? Like a day. And then she would like say or like accuse me of doing something. And then when she did that, then I would go and do it. Mm -hmm. Babe, that's not true. I only said that you did something because I already knew that you did it by finding factual information. What I'm hearing right now that just really concerns me is no matter where we move in terms of parenting, we have got to start to figure out how to listen to one another. And this is so volatile that there's no listening going on at all. I, if I would do anything, I'd say, you need to start maybe, Mom, taking one step back and assume more like an FBI negotiator. Because when they, the, when they start, no, wait just a second. Because what's happening right now is that if you don't figure something out here, there is no turning back on this relationship. We have got to figure out how to get warmth or any kind of listening or communication going. And just when you're sitting here with her, she's never been able to finish a sentence. I, I'm not supporting what her views are and what she's doing in terms of what her angles, but you have got to take it, though, that the first step is let her finish a sentence and listen. You've got one chance here, and that is and to figure out. And when I have a child who constantly the, lies here's about what it. what happens. We're not even finishing a sentence. If you can't get the listening in state and hear where she's coming from, the trust is never going to rebuild here. I do hear where she's coming from. But she's got to be able to at least finish a sentence. The second thing is when she finishes a sentence, repeat back what you heard. That'll give you a couple of seconds to be able to calm down. So I hear you say with no judgment and no, you're not agreeing with it then label her feeling. So it looks like you're feeling upset. That's going to help you tune in to her level of feeling. And you'll get the stress down so you can begin to have a conversation which is desperately needed in this house. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.